official morning everybody welcome to today's vlog i am going to do a clean with me video today it is something that i've not done in a very very long time i actually used to do it often so if you like scroll through my content you'll find like i know at least a couple of them on there but it's like i probably haven't done one in at least in at least a year so i've already got my bathroom cleaned upstairs just a little chunk of the bathroom not too much of it because it didn't need too much attention and here i am downstairs in the bathroom here so let's get started so first things first i took everything off the counter stuck it here stuck it there and also there this is just a paper towel i was using to wipe my hands and i also went ahead and i sprayed some product some cleaner all down on here and i just have these small little um burp cloths from the twins when they were little and also from when salas was little um and I'm just gonna gently rub through this and clean off all the grime and stuff. My makeup is already on this just because um, I have makeup on my hands. I had just gotten ready for the day. So let's just scrub this all out. I try not to put too much pressure when I'm cleaning this off because I don't want any scratches on here.
laying down on the ground and had to get back up, but call me crazy. But I didn't want to record me mopping my floors with just a regular rag and a bucket that you guys saw that I laid down a few minutes ago. I just, I don't know. I just feel like certain things are just a little bit too much. And the last thing I want is to be on a hate video of somebody saying, oh my gosh, look at the way she's cleaning and she's trying to get blah, 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 blah you know, to go potty. Good job. Um, you might want to look in the mirror and wipe that chocolate off your face while you're in the bathroom. No, you need a mirror to get the boys home for summer. Silas is done eating his lunch, I think, or he had to take a bathroom break, something. And then the twins are finishing up their taco shark burritos from last night, which they're actually trying to get out of eating still. When Silas comes downstairs, I'm actually gonna do something with them. I would tell you what I was gonna do, but the twins are listening to me. So I wanna get their candid reaction. So I'm not gonna tell you guys right now. Malachi has both of his ears covered, pretending like he's not hearing what I'm saying. And so does Jonah, but we all know they're the biggest fakers ever. Okay, boys, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All three of you, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ready? Look at how clean the bathroom is. Go. It's not clean. It looks the same. It looks the same. What do you think, Sai? Good. Now you see the inside of here. Do you want to see the inside of the toilet? No, let's not right now. Yeah. You forgot to look in the mirror. What do you guys think? Good? Bad? I like it. But it's hot over here. It is. It's it cold over here. It smells like bleach. Yeah, it does yeah, smell like bleach. These kids, all right, thank you. My bathroom is usually clean. And I think these kids are taking clean bathrooms for granted. That's what I got to say. But I did, I usually don't mop the floors. Or usually what I don't do is like get on the ground and clean off every single portion of like the floor with my hands. I don't do all of that detail stuff. I messed up this toilet seat so bad. It is kind of ridiculous. Ugh. Anyway, I think I'm done with the bathroom. Well, I know for a fact I'm done with the bathroom. I've asked the boys to help me keep up on it. So hopefully that will be the case. I'm going to try to figure out at least two more things to clean around the house. I'm not quite sure what. Something that I usually don't focus on, you know, so maybe like my banisters or my window seals or something. And, um, you guys will find out what I pick very shortly, but for right now, let me just give you a quick tour of what the bathroom looks like. Cut away all this stuff that I don't need anymore and kind of go from there, but let's show you guys. You walk in and you go all the way in here. This window leads to the backyard, so we always have it closed because you know we want privacy when we're urinating or handling businesses. We have a mirror here, which just kind of stays. That's just decorative towel. Nobody uses it. This actually, there used to be three towels here. I wonder if there's three still. Uh, one and two. Hmm. There's two, but we had bought one each for the boys, but that is there. And then, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this out because every time I use the bathroom, I see this and that bothers me. I'm just gonna flip it the other way. And we washed and dried it and we stuck it up here and it looks like that. This is decorative. Nothing bothers me. Like if people end up using it, I'd be okay with that also. And then this rise up and pray thing. It's a scripture. It's um, Luke 22, 46. So that is up there. And that's kind of where we got our colors from. I don't know if you can tell or not. So with the little bit of purple here and then all the other blues and grays and stuff. So it started off there and then it trickled into this area here. This thing, I don't know if you guys noticed when I was cleaning, but it's actually empty, there's nothing in there, but I just wanted a hint of different color in here besides all the purples and stuff. This is mine from upstairs, but because the colors match so well on here, I, I decided that I was gonna bring this downstairs and leave it here just for my guests to be able to use if they wanted to. It's Moonlight Path from uh, Bath and Body Works, if you guys are interested in that at all. And then this, of course, was just sitting around the house and I was like, oh, that's a beautiful color to match and incorporate all of that in there. And of course the blues came out and then the silver kind of complemented that. I'm not in love with this. I just haven't found something that I am in love with, so we're just gonna leave it for that. And then of course, our air freshener happens to match the purple in this also. This picture is my favorite. It's the kids when we first, first moved into this house, taking a bath upstairs in the bathtub. It's one of my favorite pictures of the kids because it gently reminds me what year and how old the kids were when we were blessed with this beautiful home. This is our shower on this side. 
I've got to figure out what to do with the toilet. I put something on here and then it made like a mark. So I'm going to try to figure out if I have like a magic eraser or something like that. Maybe that will come out. And then going off of here, we have a mirror up there. A beautiful mirror. You guys saw me go through and Windex that off the light. And then that's our medicine cabinet with just a soap. It's a variety pack that, from Costco. This one is orange. So we just have that here for our guest, for anybody to use really. I just love, love, love this sign. It brings me so much joy. And then I have the Bath and Body Works wallflower plug-in, just like the oil smells. And then a hand towel. And scooting back here, we have just this rug over here. I try to keep this rug as far away from the toilet as possible because I feel like it just catches, I don't know, urine because I have three boys. So I just have it here just as like an accent thing, just to darken up the room a little bit and also to bring out the backsplash that we have too over there and over here also. But this is the full room. I'm gonna fix this in the bathroom. We'll be done. store today and I've been meaning to get out there I just have not had a chance to sorry about all the noise in the background you guys we are doing major 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 work around this house Ryan went to the store my least favorite store today I just finished putting this up here um anyway he went to my least favorite store today and called me and asked if I needed anything I said absolutely not but I want something so I asked him to get these they are the outdoor candles and they have a remote to it, but instead of outdoors, I'm actually gonna use it indoors. I asked him to get three of them that are the same exact size because I actually want to put them. Hopefully they have batteries. Hopefully. I have to put them. Do they have batteries? Okay. So we bought candles and we may not have batteries. So they did come with batteries. Now I have to read the instructions to figure it out. This has a battery and so does this. So let me figure it out and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it. This is not working! Oh, there's an on button also. Got it guys, not to worry. Ha ha, it works. Yay. I don't know what to do with it, but this is what I'm gonna do with these two for right now. It does have a remote, which makes me happy. Don't come for my outfit, you guys. It is what it is, all right? The plan, hopefully my wrist is small enough. Whoa. It is. I need to do this. Good stuff. Look at that. I've been wanting to replace that because when I bought this, there was one in there and I don't really know what happened to it. There we go. That. And then we'll put the other one in here. Go. I need to hot glue this, but we'll have to do that another day. Definitely not today. All right. Turn off the light. This is what this area looks like. I love it. I love it. I don't know what to do with this now. I thought about maybe putting it here. I think that would actually look cute. I don't know, maybe here actually, yeah. Okay, so I put it there, but I'm not in love with it. I just feel like there's a candle lit for my son and I don't want it there. My friend came over and she left her phone here. So she's sending her son over to pick up the phone. I wanted to show you guys this area is done. Ta-da! looking good the whole entryway is clean the bathroom remains clean the kid is clean also he's trying to use up some screen time underneath the table <laughs> shake it shake it shake a booty shake a booty um i dusted off this area i think i probably should dust off that area but it just doesn't sound as interesting i will i'm gonna put this back over here because i got a vacuum but what I wanted to do, go over here and dust off this area really quickly. It's not too bad, as you guys can see. Like, it's been 
worse before. But just a little bit of dusting up here. This, for some reason, has gotten way out of control. All right, so this is another part of my cleaning up. I wanna do this, put a wreath out here. Total of two of them, just because I have these French doors that open, so one and two. Nothing fancy, just a little something simple. I gotta fix it a little bit. And I wanna show you guys what the rest of the house looks like. I moved a planter from the outside to the inside. This is actually Jonah's plant and it needs a little bit of help. And then everything around here is clean. This area kind of stayed. I did move the candle that I bought from over there to over here just because I didn't want it in front of my child's picture. Mentally, it wasn't working for me. And then this area is done. You guys saw the bathroom. It looks fantastic. I'm actually going to close the bathroom doors so that way that smell from that wildflower thing stays. Close that. And then all of this is pretty much just a little bit of vacuuming needs to be done. So this kind of just stays this way. This area kind of just stays this way, but that is it. We did this section of the house. We did the bathroom, the entryway, and then kind of focused on just like the things that you see when you first walk into the house, but not 100%, but this will do for the clean with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is all for this time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next vlog.